In one of my previous videos, I hinted at a new locomotive. And I guess I'll show it off to you guys. This is a Lionel MPC era EP5 or EP5. I don't know exactly how one would pronounce that, but I like to call it an EP5. Um, this one stood out to me because, well, it's in the Pennsylvania Railroad livery, which is very sharp. And it's another electric, and it was very reasonably priced. $80 was the asking price for this locomotive, and I didn't bother negotiating down because that is a very reasonable price for a powered unit. This even came with all the paperwork. It appears that this locomotive came out between 1974 and 1975. I believe this is a reissue of a post-war locomotive. I'm not quite sure if they did make a Pennsylvania Railroad version in the post-war era. I only really remember a New Haven one. Here's a locomotive out of the box, and I'm going to give you a little bit of history on this. The EP5 locomotive is a bi-directional locomotive that was built in 1955 and onwards by General Electric, for the New Haven Railroad, strangely enough, there were only 10 of these locomotives produced. The total operators of these locomotives were the New Haven Railroad, the Penn Central, and Conrail. Keep in mind there is no Pennsylvania Railroad in there. These locomotives were in service up until 1977, and all of these locomotives were apparently scrapped. They were able to pull well and had a high acceleration rate, However, they were quite unsafe and often caught on fire. These locomotives were eventually passed down to Conrail and Penn Central, and eventually they were scrapped by 1979. I just thought I would give a little bit of information on this piece. Obviously, I just stole that from the internet, but you know I don't actually know all that about locomotives. I just thought it'd be worth mentioning. But um, I guess I know more about model trains, so I'm going to make my own judgment on this thing. 80 bucks is not bad looking at this. It goes in forward and reverse. It has the potential to be locked into any direction. It is, of course, bi-directional in terms of you can just put it on the track either direction and hook up a consist and it won't matter. And it is an electric locomotive, which is something that I've been looking for. I've also been looking for a locomotive in the Pennsylvania Railroad livery, specifically the Tuscan Red. I really enjoy the design of this particular model because it feels like a um, Alco in terms of how the cab is laid out and the nose is laid out. And of course you may know that Alco locomotives are some of my favorites. This engine of course features working pantographs. I'm not sure if they can actually pick up electricity on certain layouts, but it has a very satisfying click when you push it down. Currently on the outer loop I have cut holes in particular bridges and areas that would be problematic so that I can run locomotives that have pantographs with their pantographs up. And making those modifications was pretty time consuming, but you know, I only did it for one locomotive, which was my GG1. Speaking of my GG1, I thought I would show this one off too. I haven't really done a whole lot on this particular model on this channel. It is very nice, of course, this is an absolute tank. You could probably kill someone if you hit them in the head the right way with this. But it's all die cast, it's got dual motors, it's got, I think, like, damn, like, 12 wheel drive on this. Of course, the front and the back trucks are dummies. But this thing is just all wheels on the bottom. Um, of course, it's got some very nice action on the pantographs there. And it's a GG1, you know, it's very sleek in design. You know, Raymond Lowy was a great industrial designer and he designed a few other things. Like, I believe that he designed Coke bottles as well. And he designed automobiles too. Now that I had two locomotives up on the table, I thought that I might as well get a few more and showcase some of my favorite locomotives from the MPC and LTI eras of Lionel.
seeing all these fantastic trains laid out, it kind of makes me feel regretful that I don't have enough space to display them on shelves. Maybe I'll do something about that in an upcoming video. See ya.